Hmm. All right. Music a little bit lower on the volume, perhaps. Hmm. I have no idea. How how would you trigger like from a death within a game? Out to the rest of the programming sphere? I don't know. Banana Wolf Monkey says, There's a non-zero amount of lore surrounding the sandwich from Team Fortress 2. Oh, the sandwich. The sandwich. Okay. Banana Wolf Monkey says, The official PoE website wouldn't have a character deaths on your profile, would it? Don't use the official site except for trade. I have no idea. Maybe. Maybe. Alternatively, you just play hardcore. And it can be assumed your death count is always zero. Until it very suddenly isn't. Yeah, that's one way to do it, right? Hmm. Death count 21. Wait. Oh. The death count is still from... But I don't know what makes the spirit back. Ah. Have fun. Hmm. The death count did not update. Yeah, I need to fix that. Actually, I want to type that into the to-do thing. Uh... Death count in title not dating properly. There we go. It's an easy fix, but oh, I should have liked that previous song. I did like it. I need to be better at that. Pressing like on the songs that works for background music, because then sometime in the future, one could just make a radio from all the liked songs. For example, this. I can make... Oh, and I should be better at making thumbs downs as well. But this is way too over the place. Hmm. Same with that. Don't want the invasive stuff. All right, so where were we? He just left the house. We know that he's talking himself into making a crime of some sort. Somehow the music stopped, but uh, it'll start eventually, I hope. All right, and oh yeah, the terror, because he was spotted because of his hat. All right, I knew it, he muttered in confusion. I thought so. That's the worst of all. Wait, no, oh, we've seen that before. It's just a trifle. It always ruin everything. He had not far to go. He knew indeed how many steps it was. Oh, right. From the gate of the lodge of his lodging house. Actually, part of me wants to put something on here rather than text and text. What can we put here? Hmm. Can. can take the whole of the black hole. No? Hmm. Images. And that's fine. Can you just look at black holes? And why does this not work? What is it like? What's the refresh button for a...
Let's see. There we go. Refresh. There we go. All right. He had not far to go. He knew exact. He knew indeed how many steps it was from the gate to his lodging house. Exactly 730. He had counted them once when he had been lost in, in dreams. At the time he had put no faith in those dreams and was, so, was only tantalizing himself. Tantalizing, that's... Actually, I can try this out now. Tantalizing, arousing desire or expectation for something unattainable. There we go. He was only tantalizing himself. Nice. Last says, I know with cheat engine, there's a way to monitor a process to find out how, it ch uh, how to change a value. I would think there'd be a way to do so, but to show when you died, maybe? And also be banned for cheating, using cheat ending if they notice it. But I suppose, yeah, opening... Opening the game from terminal and just monitoring what happens. See if something specific happens every time one dies. And just grabbing that. Yeah, that, that probably is a way, right? Look into that. But then again, that, that would be for each individual game. I suppose that's fine. I suppose that's fine. Right. At the time, he had to put he, he had put no faith in those dreams and was only tantalizing himself by their hideous but daring recklessness. Wait. Now, a month later, he had begun to look upon them differently, and in spite of the monologues in which he cheered at his own impotence and indecision, he had involuntarily come to regard this hideous dream as an exploit to be attempted. Although he still did not realize this for himself, he was positively uh, going for a rehearsal of this project. Right. What if we do... He was positively going now for a rehearsal of this project at, uh, and at every step his ex excitement grew more more and more violent all right so he's not only thieving he is robbing probably with a sinking heart and a nervous tremor he went up to a huge house which on one side looked onto the canal and on the other s other into the street this house was let out in Tiny tenements and was inhabited by working people of all kinds: tailors, locksmiths, cooks, Germans of Germans of sorts. <laughs> is that is that uh, oh people of all kinds? All right, tailors, locksmiths, cooks, Germans, girls picking up a living as best they could, petty clerks, etc. There was a continual coming and going through the two gates and in the two courtyards of the house. Three or four doorkeepers were employed on the building. The young man was very glad to meet none of them and at once slipped unnoticed through the door on the right and up the staircase. It was a back staircase, dark and narrow, but it was familiar with but he was familiar with it already, and he knew his way. And he liked all these those these surroundings. 
in such a darkness even the most inquisitive eyes were not to be dreaded. This is a long paragraph, eh? Long paragraph. Actually, so I don't forget, I want to add, let's add this here. Hmm. Game from terminal. Look at output or logs. Right, I wonder if we start out with the crime or is this. And I haven't really understood if he if he's planning right if he's planning to do it now or if he's just still playing with the idea in his mind. We'll see though. If I am so scared now, what would it be? What would it be if it somehow came to pass that I was really going to do it? Ah, there we go. Yeah. He's just imagining at the moment. Planning. What's that? Scoping the place? Is that is that the lingo? I don't remember. If I, were, if I were really going to do it. He could not help asking himself as he reached the fourth story. <gasps> there is... Progress was barred by some porters who were engaged in moving furniture out of a flat. <coughs> he knew that the flat had been occupied by a German clerk in the civil service and his family. <coughs> this German was moving out then and... So the fourth floor on this staircase would be untenanted except by the old woman. Oh, the old woman, eh? I think we have our target. That's a good thing anyway, he thought to himself as he rang the bell of the old woman's flat. The bell gave a faint tinkle. Bell gave a faint tinkle as though it were made of tin and not copper. All oh, right, right. The little flats in such houses always have bells that ring like that. He had forgotten the note. He had forgotten the note of that bell, and now its per peculiar tinkle seemed to remind him of something and to bring it clearly before him. Oh, something, eh? Banana Waffle Monkey says, Don't take your toilet plungers for granted. I... Were you in a situation where it didn't work? I don't know what monkey says. Just save me a lot of pain in the bathroom. I'm fucking a toilet. Yeah. I think I've never been in a situation where it it have hasn't worked. It's always worked for me. But I can imagine that one of these days, one of these days, it won't. Alright. He started. His nerves were terribly overstrained by now. In a little while, the door was opened by a tiny crack. The old woman eyed her visitor with evident distrust through the crack. And nothing could be seen but her little eyes, her little eyes, glittering in the darkness. 
But seeing, uh, but seeing a number of people on the landing, she grew bolder and opened the door wide. The young man stepped in into the dark entry, which was partitioned off from the tiny kitchen. The old woman stood facing him in silence and looking incre- intriguingly, no, inquiringly at him. She was uh, a diminutive withered old woman of 60 with sharp malignant eyes sharp malignant eyes and a sharp little nose banana waffle monkey says the only time it has not worked for me is when the volume of the toilet plunger displaces the rising water above the seat of the bowl hmm Hmm. Alright, we don't even have a plunger, actually. I was confused by something else. We use another thing. It's like a brush. Yeah, like a toilet brush. Yeah. But that just works. Works just fine. Her colorless, somewhat grizzled hair was thickly smeared with oil, and she wore no kerchief over it. Hmm. Round her thin long neck, which looked like a hen's leg, was knotted some sort of flannel rag, and in spite of the heat, there hung, flapping on her shoulders, a mangy fur cape yellow with age. The old woman coughed and groaned at every instant. The young man must have looked at her with a rather peculiar expression, for a glean of mistrust came into her eyes again. Alright, you're gonna... gonna start talking. Blasphemous, a cider should eat a... Read a romance novel next. Uh, I don't know about that. Those are not my favorite. Those are not my favorite. I thought, like novel speaking, we were was thinking Zarathustra or the Camus one. I don't remember what the Camus was called, but. Hmm. This was 1866. This is this is romantic. All right, yeah. This is romantic. All right, the names. That's the problem with the Russian thing. Raskolnikov, a student. Ah. Oh, the young man's name. We gotta, we gotta learn that. Last one says, The Stranger. Yeah, right. The Stranger by Camus. Terrible with names again. I remembered Camus for some reason. Hmm. I have not read Camus, not any Camus. Hmm. Raskolnikov. Raskolnikov. Yeah, there we go. Raskolnikov. That's a name that I'm probably gonna say a couple of times. Hmm. Latranger, yeah. Soon I came here a month ago, the young man made haste to mutter with half a bow, remembering that he ought to be more polite. I remember. Wait, can we do this? Yeah. Right. Ah, here we go. I remember, my good sir, I remember quite well you coming here. The old woman said distinctly, still keeping her inquiring eye on his face. And here I am again on some errand, Rakolnikov continued, a little disconcerted and surprised at the old woman's mistrust. Perhaps she is always like that, though. Only I did not notice it the other time, he thought with an uneasy feeling. 
Maybe he didn't. Hmm. But I don't know what mic is easy. Just pronounce it as. Oh man! But that one, it wasn't too difficult. Raskolnikov wasn't too difficult. Raskolnikov. Hmm. The old woman paused, as though hesitating, then stepped on one side and pointing to the door of the room. She said, letting her visitor pass in front of her, Step in, my good sir. There was a little room in which the young man... Wait. The little room in, into which the young man walked, with yellow paper on the walls. Geronimus. I don't know that word. Let's check it out. Geronimus. Nothing found. Nothing? Oh. Well, what's, what's the point? What's the point if they can't find Geronimus? It's a flower. Thank you, Banana Wolf Monkey. This is horrible. This is unacceptable. I have to... I need to find another dictionary to put in here. And there's all there's already a bunch of them. There's already a bunch of dictionaries. Hmm. <laughs> Banana waffle monkey one dictionary zero. Yes indeed. It's a flower. Alright. Yellow paper on the wall, Geronimus and muslin curtains in the windows. I'm guessing muslin is some sort of flower as well. Yeah. No, plain woven cotton fabric. Right? We have have this one, WordNet, and we have the G side, the Collaborative International Dictionary of English. Uh, thin cotton, white dyed or painted. What else do we have? Ah, another copy of WordNet. And that's just what it worked like. And that's actually... I have more, but that's the only ones that found it. Two dictionaries. Hmm. Last one says, Can you have dancing girls in hot tubs playing in the browser behind you? Nah, not not today. Maybe some other day. What about the mood of the story? Hmm. Oh man. What else? Do you have something else? Do you want to watch? Is the black hole not satisfying anymore? I need to d deal with something, right? I like the setup, though. Having... Text here, browser here. I actually even like Firefox for this. Or like some some thor sort of imagery. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, getting uh, like some sort of... What's it called? Images flashing by slowly. Hmm. Also brightly lighted up at the moment by the setting sun. The room was that anyway. So the sun will shine like this then too. Blasphemous says, yes, this is much better. So your webcam is not blocking it. Yeah, also I like the the width the width of it. Actually, it's going to be this wide anyway, anyway, but uh, yeah. For it not to take up the full screen. I mean, actually, I could probably I could put this here as well. 
I don't I don't need the extra thing. I can just put this. Nah, screw that. All right, I wonder what these are. What they signify. Hmm. Lasmus's image insert URL here to appear behind Cider's Cider scam. Are we scamming? No, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I thought about that, but there will be stuff that are not safe for streaming, so I don't know how to. I mean, I could just, like, search queries on images, right? We could just do image query, and we could just change, like, search for images here. Actually, can you search for... Actually, I want to try that now. I'm curious. I'm going to try... Uh... Oh, it seems like it's, it has safe searching. Nope, that's not safe. Nope, 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 that did not work. I tried to just like put any search query here, but I tried a couple of search queries that would not work, would not work. There were some images that I did, it does, yeah. Oh, I had moderate though. Maybe strict. Actually, I want to try that again. Oh. All the images blocked by... Alright, all the images gets blocked. Hmm. What about this? Hmm. I'll, I'll think about it. I have other stuff to do first, but... I'll think about it. All right. So the sun will shine like this, then too. Flashed as it were by chance through Raskolnikov's mind, and with a rapid glance he scanned everything in the room, trying as far as possible to notice and remember its arrangement. Ah! Then, then is when he is robbing her. When he's robbing her. Then too, because it's be, it'll be the same time. Yeah, he is, he is casing the place. Is that what it's called? Hmm. Asmus's electric sheep screensaver. Electric sheep screensaver. What's that? Is that something I'm supposed to be looking up? There was nothing special in the room. The furniture, all very old and of yellow wood, consisted of a sofa with a huge bent wooden back, an oval table in front of the sofa, a dressing table with uh, with a looking glass fixed on it between the windows, window windows, yeah. Chairs along the walls and two or three halfpenny prints in yellow frames, representing German damsels with birds in their hands. That was all. In the corner, a light was burning before a small icon. Hmm. 
Everything was clean. The floor and the furniture were brightly polished. Everything sh shown. What's the... Um, if I want to move down half a page. Vim. Is there a one keybind to do that? I know page down moves a full page. If I just want to move a half a page. Do you know that, Blasphemous? Hmm. Banana Wolf Monkey says, Do androids dream of electric sheep? It's a very old fractal screensaver. Electric. Oh, maybe I should. Hmm. Androids don't dream, I don't think. This is casing music, yes. Why is it? Oh, wow. It seems like it changes a lot over time. Oh, okay. Let's try another... Say, hmm. this is way too big, all right? I have to. Could just keep it at the bottom and always read at the bottom. Actually, I'm gonna try that when we get there. Uh, actually, try that immediately. Read from the from the bottom all the time. Same line. Hmm. Miss Aveta's work. Wait. Miss Aveta's work. Thought a young man. There was not a speck of dust to be seen in the whole flat. Oh, the cleaning ladies, I suppose. It's in the houses of spiteful old widows one finds such cleanliness. Ras Raskolnikov thought again, and he stole a curious glance at the cotton curtain over the door leading into another tiny room in which stood the old woman's bed and chest of drawers into which he had never looked before. These two rooms made up the whole flat. What do you want, the old woman said um, severely, coming into the room and, as before, standing in front of him so as to look him straight in the face. I've brought something to pawn here. And he drew out of his pocket an old-fashioned flat silver watch, on the back uh, on the back of which was engraved a globe. The chain was of steel. Oh, nice! The time is up for your last pledge. The month was up the day before yesterday. Right. But the, t the time is up for your last pledge. The month was up the day before yesterday. What does that mean? I will bring you the interest for another month. Wait a little. Oh, wait. Alright. We'll figure it out. I don't quite get what's going on. Hmm. Banana Waffle Monkey says... 
Pawn shops were looked down upon back then, at least from what I've read of Charles Dickens. Aren't they still looked down upon? Blasphemous says, is the Sherlock Holmes crime and punishment game based on this? I, I didn't even know there was a Sherlock Holmes crime and punishment game. I will bring you the interest for another month. Wait a little. That's for me to do as I please, my good sir. To wait or sell your pledge at once. Oh, he was late. Right. Hmm. How much will you give me for the watch? Aliona Ivanova. Hmm. Ivano Ivanovna. Ivanovna. Aliona Ivanovna. Hmm. Planet Waffle Monkey, not sure about modern perceptions. Hmm. They have a bad reputation of being crooks and uh, taking people's stuff with sentimental value, alright? It's. Hmm. Come with such trifles, my good sir. It's scarcely worth anything. I gave you two rubles last time for your ring, and one could buy it quite new at Euler's for a ruble and a half. Ah. Give me four rubles for it. I shall redeem it. It was my father's. I shall be getting some money soon. Oh, okay. A ruble and a half. And interest in advance, if you like. A ruble and a half, cried the young man. Please yourself. Well, that could be taken out of context, right? Please yourself. That's quite an order. All right. Proceeds to unzip pants. And the old woman handed him back the watch. The young man took it, and he was so angry that he was on the point of going away, but checked himself at once, remembering that there was nowhere else he could go and that he had another object also in coming. Hand it over, he said roughly. The old woman fumbled in her pocket for her keys and disappeared behind the curtains into the other room. The young man, left standing alone in the middle of the room, listened inquisitively, thinking... He could hear her unlocking the chest of drawers. It must be the top drawer, he reflected. So she carries the keys in a pocket on her on the right, all in one bunch of uh, in a bunch on a steel ring. And there's one key there, three times as big as all the others, with deep notches. That can't be the key of the chest of drawers. Then there must be some other chest or strongbox. That's worth knowing. Strongboxes always have keys like that. But how degrading it all is. Actually, this that made me give me a flashback to when working in the, in the prison. Right? Is it going to work every day? Just thinking about how would I break someone out or how would I smuggle something in? How would I smuggle someone out? Just like, yeah, just thinking it through. How can I do this? It was a fun mental exercise to do. I, w I was never nervous, but uh, his nervousness just comes from actually considering it. I was never actually considering it. Hmm.
bus messes. I like how we can know what the percentage is, com is complete. I like that as well. I like knowing the line number and the percentage. We're at 1%. Mm. Just like a Kindle Paperwhite. Mm. Buy one today from Amazon. Oh no, damn it. What did you make me do, Lasmus? Ah. Banana Waffle Monkey says, I've heard the argument that keys in literature are often subtle phallic imagery. Locking, unlocking, and the whole insertion thing? Maybe not so subtle. That would not surprise me now. Also, uh, thinking of chastity belts, right? That history of the thing? I don't even know if chastity belts were an actual thing, or if it just came from the imagery. Like somebody was mad enough to do it, I suppose. Mm. People were ma are mad enough to cut up babies' genitals, so people are mad enough to do anything, I suppose. I don't get what he mean. What is degrading? His thoughts are degrading? Or... Is he de... Like, is he thinking the old lady? Or the whole situation where he has to pawn his stuff? Is the pawning the stuff degrading? Hmm. Last one says, Just the belt is kind of kink now, Kappa. Maybe. I've never... Hmm. I've never heard of it before, but I suppose some people can find it kinky. The old woman came back. Here, sir. As we say, ten kopecks. The ruble a month. So I must take fifteen kopecks from a ruble and a half for the month in advance. But for the two rubles I lent you before, you owe me now thirty kopecks. On the same reckoning in advance. That makes 35 kopecks altogether. So I must give you a ruble and 15 kopecks for the watch. Here it is. What? Only a ruble and 15 kopecks now? Just so. Hmm. Well, Blasmus gives us a quote. State propaganda when supported by the educated classes and when no deviation is permitted from it, it can have a big effect. It was a lesson learned by Hitler and many, many others. It has been pursued to this day. Ah, I like that. Last one says, I agree. With the quote. Hmm. Yeah, it's... Overton window. There we go. I think I'm. I think I'm re thinking. I'm remembering it now. Overton window. It's such a. It's a good idea. The Overton window. I like it. It's descriptive. It fits quite well. Hmm. Banana Wolf Mika also brings us a quote. And the quote is, I can see why she's divorced. She's very divorceable. As soon as you meet her, you can't wait to take her to court to get rid of her. Yeesh. Is that? Or yeesh? I don't know what that means, but I don't know what yeesh. Yeesh. I'm assuming. That is someone that is really divorceable. Well, Wolf Monkey says, uh, uh, adds a quote, pick a number, double it, add 10, divide by 2, sub subtract your original number. Your current number is now 5. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Skywalker. Skywalker. He's feeling a little bit neglected. I've spent so much time working on the bot the other day, so he hasn't gotten enough attention. Actually, he just woke up. Uh, but Blasmus adds a quote. I don't hate them, I just feel better when they're not around. Lovely. Lovely. I'll be right back. 
I got to check on the cat. Mood. Pissy mood, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Hmm. Just so. The young woman did not dispute it and took the... M the young man did not dispute it and took the money. He looked at the old woman uh, and was in no hurry to get away, as though there was still something he wanted to say or do but he did not himself quite know what. I may be bringing you something else in a day or two, Aliona Ivanovna. A valuable thing, a silver... a cigarette box. As soon as I can get it back from a friend, he broke off in confusion. Well, we will talk about it then, sir. Goodbye. Are you always the at home alone? Oh wow. Goodbye. Uh, are you always at home alone? Your sister is not here with you, he asked her casually. Uh, as casually as possible as he went out into the passage. What business is she of yours, my good sir? Alright, he's really not he's really not liking this, eh? Oh, nothing particular. I simply asked. You're too quick. Good day, Alyona Ivanovna. Mm. Raskolnikov went out into the... went out in complete confusion. This confusion became... Uh, this confusion became more and more intense as he went down the stairs. He even stopped short two or three times as though suddenly struck by some thought. When he was in the street, he cried out, Oh God, how loths loathsome it all is. And can I, can I possibly? No, it's nonsense. It's rubbish, he added resolutely. And how could such an atrocious thing Come into my head. What a fil what filthy things my heart is capable of. Yes, filthy above all, disgusting, loathsome, loathsome. And for a whole month I've been But no words, no exclama exclamations could express his agitation. The feeling of intense repulsion which has begun to oppress and torture his heart. While he was on his way uh, to the old woman wait. had by now reached such a pitch and had taken such a definite form that he did not know what to do with himself to escape from his wretchedness. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the cat with sunglasses, eh? I think I don't know if I made him in a worse mood or a better mood. Right. He woke up with a nightmare again, so I distracted him from that at least. Rather frustrated than disheartened. He walked along the pavement like a drunken man, regardless of the passers-by, and jostling um, against them, and only came across uh, came to his senses when he was in the next.
street. Looking around, he noticed that he, he was standing close to a tavern, which was entire enter, which was entered by steps leading from the pavement to the basement. Uh, at that instant, two drunken men came out the door and abusing and supporting one another. Abusing? They mounted the steps. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. joshing around, I suppose. Lasmus adds the quote, Not all drugs are good. Some of them are great. I mean... It depends on... Uh, on who and when... Set and setting, right? And value judgment. Personal preference and all that. There's plenty of things that... Can make drugs good and bad. Narcotics. Hmm. Without stopping to think, Raskolnikov went down the steps at once. Till that moment he had never been into a tavern. Oh, never? But now he felt giddy and was tormented by a burning thirst. He longed for a drink of cold beer. His, he and attributed his sunk weakness to the want of food. He sat down uh, at a sticky little table and table in a dark and dirty corner, ordered some beer and eagerly drank off the first glassful. At once he felt easier. His thoughts became clear. Hmm. Guess who quote that was from? Not all drugs are good, some of them are great. Bill Hicks? Douglas Adams. Oh. Didn't remember that. Hmm. Was it safe out of people Brox then? That would be something safe out of people Brox or Ford Prefect would say. Hmm. Hmm. The mythos around the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is. That he wrote most of it high on LSD, right? I'm pretty sure. Last one says, yes, Bill Hicks. Oh, it was Bill Hicks. Hmm. Oh, Banana Waffle Monkey said, was it Douglas Adams? And there was a question in there. Oh, man. Both that one as well. Man, I love his Life is a Ride. That that ending. Like that. Hmm. And the the good Yeah, the good drug story. The good LSD trip. Uh, in the news. Right. All that's nonsense, he said hopefully, and there is nothing in it all to worry about. It's simply physical derangement. Just a glass of beer, a piece of dry bread, and in one moment the brain is stronger, the mind is clearer, and the will is firm. Phew, how utterly petty it all is. Hmm. But in spite of this scornful reflection, he was by now looking cheerful as though he were suddenly set free from a horrible burden, and he gazed round in a friendly way at the people in the room. But even at that moment he had a dim foreboding that this happier frame of mind w was also not normal. Hmm. There were few people at the time in this tavern, beside the two drunken men <coughs> he had met on the steps, a group of consisting of about five men and a girl with a <coughs> concertina.
coiled barbed wire used as an obstacle. Ah, there we go. Free reed instrument played like an accordion by pushing its ends together to force air through the reeds. Hmm. Bards. Had gone out at the same time. Their departure left the room quiet and rather empty. The persons still in the tavern were a man who appeared to be an artisan, drunk but not extremely so, sitting before a pot of beer, and his companion, a huge stout man with a grey beard, uh, in a full short-skirted coat. He was very drunk and had dropped... wait... He was very drunk and had dropped asleep on the bench. Every now and then he began uh, as though in his sleep cracking his fingers with his arms wide apart and the upper part of his body bounding about on the bench while he hummed some meaningless refrain, trying to recall some such lines as these. His wife... His wife a year he fondly loved, his wife a year he fondly loved, or suddenly waking up again. Walking along the crowded row, he met the one he used to know. But no one shared his enjoyment, his silent companion looked with pos positive hostility and mistrust at all these manifestations. There was another man in the room who looked somewhat like a retired government clerk. He was sitting apart now and then sipping from his pot and looking round at the company. He too appeared to be in some agitation. First, one chapter down, eh? 400. 400 lines. All right. Chapter 2. Rasmus says, what program are you listening on music on? Firefox. And this here. Pretzel Rocks. Stream safe music for live streamers. Tens of thousands of hours of Twitch and YouTube safe music. Don't get DMCA'd. Compact mode. And compact mode just gives me this. And uh, you can... Uh, you can change stations. I th I'm pretty sure I'm... Playing stations all. Can't even. I think I'm playing from all the stations. I don't know though. I set it up once. Hmm. I'm trying to be good at noticing the thumbs up button and making like a list of thumbs up stuff that works. Or rather, actually, I don't even have to do that. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make add a command, next song command, right? Or skip song command, yeah, skip song command. That's easy enough to do. Yeah, right, yeah. I think I'm playing all with the restriction that there are no lyrics, no singing. That's what I added, yeah, right. No singing. I felt that singing would be disruptive for reading. Right, so this was the first time he ever went into a bar. That's... Alright, so his first time in a bar, it's probably not his first time getting drinking. It's just he needed to calm his nerves, I suppose. Alright, chapter two.
You know what? I had another idea. What if we do like this? What about that? Hmm. Osmosis. I don't think there is a way to use that via terminal. No, unfortunately. At least not one made already, no. There, you can get like a Windows and run something through Wine, but I'm actually quite happy to use it as it is. Could just make something that makes this auto scroll slowly, right? It's there for a couple of minutes and then it scrolls down. I don't know. Hmm. Wow, we're at two percent now. Oh, nice, two percent. Very nice. Kolnikov was not used to crowds, and as we as we said before, were we, he avoided society of every sort, more especially of late. But now, all at once, he felt a desire to be with other people. Something new seemed to be taking place with him, and with it he felt a sort of thirst for company. He was so weary after a whole month of concentrated wretchedness and gloomy excitement that he longed to rest, if only for a moment, in some other world. Whatever it might be, and in spite of the filthiness of the surroundings, he was glad now to stay in the tavern. The master of the establishment was <coughs> in another room, but he frequently came down to... S well, actually, we could even do this. Something like that. The master of the establishment was in another room, but he frequently came down some steps into the main room, into the main room, his jaunty, tarred books with red overturned tops coming into view each time before the rest of his person. Hmm. Last one says, it will only take two months? Well, maybe only two months. Hmm. Banana Wolf Monkey says, This reminds me of Bill Sykes from Oliver Twist. I have not read Oliver Twist. Mm. What about this? Banana Wolf Monkey continues, kind of antisocial and associated with crime, then has a brief couple of interactions that show he could have uh, integrated into society if he really wanted to, before him and his dog dying. Hmm. He wore a full coat and a horribly greasy black satin waistcoat with no cravat and his whole face seemed smeared with oil like an iron lock. Actually, can we do like this? It felt a little bit... Let's see. 
Too much clutter. Few, fewer ones. Here we go. Wait, all layouts? Oh. Sweden. That's weird. Oh, wait. Kind of antisocial, yeah? Associated with crime. Well, he's just thinking about crimes, right? He's just, he's, he just had that idea when he went to the woman. When he was that poor, he needed to send that money. Like, he needed money. He needed to go to the pawn shop. And when he was there, it was like, just this old woman. That's it. And he had that idea, right? And it starts gnawing and gnawing and gnawing on him. Hmm. I guess I, I'm, I might misunderstand antisocial here. Antisocial to me is more like... Like, uh, some sense of hostility, right? Just being introverted and staying out of the crowds. Just not being out in public a lot. I wouldn't call that antisocial. Hmm. But I suppose. As I said, I haven't read Oliver Twist. At the counter stood a boy uh, of about 14, and there was another boy, somewhat younger, who handed whatever was wanted. Uh, on the counter lay some sliced cucumber, some pieces of uh, dried black bread, black bread, eh? and some fish, chopped up small and smelling very bad. It was insufferably close and so heavy with the fumes of spirits that five minutes in such an atmosphere might as well make a man drunk. Nice. That's what says asocial? Asocial, that's not social, right? That's actually... It becomes a pun in Swedish, the asocial, because it's called asocial in Swedish. But, uh, os, well, os social is the Swedish. It's pretty much the same, right? But as, the word as, like the behind, not the other word. Uh, you can make it sound either way. It, that's usually used as a um, prefix for something extreme so it could you can make the pen pun that i'm not oh fuck translating puns what the fuck am i doing oh man translating puns that's the dumbest shit oh man Black bread, probably pumpernickel, says Banana Waffle Monkey. And he says that the Oliver Twist one was, a, was violent. He threatened Oliver with a gun and he killed his girlfriend. Oh, wow. That's... Hmm. Have you heard of this Swedish band? I don't recognize the Ashbury Heights. No. This Hogstrom? Hmm. That's what I mean. Nope. I have not heard of it. Right, like in in my high highlight times of listening to music, it was metal. It was all metal. Not all, but like rock and metal and stuff like that. Talking black and death metal as well. 
I like this kind of stuff. This kind of art. Yep, yeah, nope. Did not hear of them. Quote, and we get uh, the double the number, and your current number is now five. Oh, nice. There are chance meeting with strangers that interest us from the first moment, before a word is spoken. Yeah, I know that. Such was the impression made on Raskolnikov by the person sitting a little distance from him, who looked like a retired clerk. The young man often recalled this impression afterwards, and even ascribed it uh, to presentment. He looked repeatedly at the cler clerk, sorry, clerk, partly no doubt because the latter was staring persistently at him, obviously anxious to enter into a conversation. Uh, at the other wait, at the other persons in the room, excluding including the tavern keeper, the clerk looked as though he were used to the company and wary of it, showing a shade of con Condescending contempt, ah, there we go. Condescending contempt for them as persons of station and culture inferior to his own, with whom it would be useless for him to converse. Oh, he's a hipster, right? That's the hipster. It's a long sentence. He was a man over 50, bald and grizzled of medium height. Oh, actually, can we do like this? Medium high height and stoutly built. His face, bloated from continual drinking, was of a yellow and even greenish tinge with swollen eyelids out of, uh, out of which keen reddish eyes gleamed like little chinks. But there was something very strange in him. There was a light in his eyes, as though of intense feeling. Perhaps there were even some thought and intelligence. But at the same time, there was a gleam of something like madness. He was wearing an old, hopelessly ragged black dress coat, which... Uh, uh, with all its buttons missing except one, and uh, and th that one he had buttoned, evidently clinging to this last trace of respectability. Blasphemous asks, Cider, are you a hipster? I was kind of hipster as a teenager, I think. I don't think I am anymore, though. As far as I'm aware. I was an edgy hipster. Yeah. Edgy hipster. Yeah. I got pushed out from all social groups. So then the only thing left to do was to stay in the pushed out social group. And you're not the ones pushing me out. I'm the one pushing you out. That kind of attitude. Yeah. I don't think I have that anymore, though. I, I try not to, anyway. I like inclusivity. Yes, I do like inclusi inclusivity. Crumpled shirt front, covered with spots and stains, protruded from his canvas waistcoat. Like a clerk, he wore no beard nor mustache. But he uh, had been so long unshaven that his chin looked like a stiff grayish brush. Right. Wore no beard, nor a mustache. Mustache, but he had a grayish brush. How? Oh. Is that not literally a beard? Hmm. There was something respectable, like an 
of fish. And there was something respectable and like an official about his manner, too. But he was restless. He ruffled up his hair from time to time to let his head down into his hands, dejectively resting his ragged elbows on the stained and sticky table. At last he looked straight at Raskolnikov and said loudly and resolutely, May I venture, honored sir, to engage you in, a, in polite conversation? For as much though your exterior would not command respect, my experience admonishes me um, that you are a man of education and not accustomed to drinking. I have always respected education when in conjunction with genuine sentiments, and I am besides a titular counselor in rank. Marmeladov. Such is my name, titular counselor. I make bold to inquire. Have you been in the service? No, I am studying, answered the young man. Somewhat surprised at a grandiloquent. Grandiloquent. Oh, I wonder, will this, will this work? Nope. Will not. Uh, what just happened? Oh, I... Mm, that's the problem. Let's try that again. Uh, where are we? Grand delinquent. Plus, this, this reminds me of my favorite Vim plugin. Ooh, nice. Nice tip. Limelight. Alright, what's this then? Ooh, I like that. for paragraphs though but I'm assuming you can selected range yep you can uh, invoke limelight for a visual range there are also plug mappings for normal and visual mode the purpose yeah I like this make sure to watch the gif on the page yep the gif was great What is Grand Delinquent then? Lofty in style. He engages in so much tall talk, one never realizes, really realizes what he is saying. Grand Delinquent. Ooh. Hmm. I've been accused of being that, not with that word. Actually, it would be fun to respond with that word, grand delinquent. When someone accuses you of being that. Snobby talking. Mm. Using difficult language. Tail in my mouth. Thank you, Skywalker. Right, can we do it like this? Yeah. This fine. No, I'm studying, answered the young man, somewhat surprised at the grand delinquent style of the speaker, and also at being so directly addressed. In spite of the momentary desire he had just been feeling for... In spite of the momentary desire he had just been feeling for company of any sort, uh, on being actually spoken to, he felt immediately his habitual irritable and uneasy aversion for any stranger who approached or attempted to approach him. Oh. Let's see. If I can get the cat, cat to stay. Hmm. I think I can't, though. Just when I fix the camera for him. Oh. 
Yeah, you can see his butt right there. You can see his butt. And he's gone. What about that? Huh? Just his butt, eh? Can I turn it around? I don't think so. No. Oh. Not staying, eh? Hmm. Nope, that's wrong way. All right. Yeah, getting something like that is a good idea. Mm. This this just works for this, I suppose. But uh, yeah, limelight. I'll get that. I'll look into that. This afternoon, probably, if I don't got too much to do. Banana Waffle Monkey says, Locant, probably from the root locution, like in circumlution or soliquely. I know none of those words. In spite of the momentary desire... All right. Uh, ah, here we go. A student then, or formerly a student, cried the clerk. Just what I thought. I'm a man of experience. Immense experience, sir. Oh, really, are you then? And he tapped his forehead with his finger in self-approval. You've been a student or have attended some learned institution, but allow me. He got up, staggered, took his jug and glass and sat down beside that young man, facing him a little sideways. He was drunk, but spoke fluently and boldly, only occasionally losing the thread of his sentences and drawling his words. He... Pounced upon Raskolnikov as greedily as though he, as he too had not spoken to a soul for a month. Month, yeah. This was annoying. All right. If I just, yeah, we're fine if we just do it like that. Honored sir, he began almost with solemnity. Poverty is not a vice. That's a true saying. Yet I know too that drunkens drunkenness is not a virtue. And... Mm, that's not... And that's even truer. Ah, but beggary, honored sir, beggary is a vice. Uh, okay. In poverty, you may still retain your innate nobility of soul, but in beggary, never no one. So, what's the alternative then? Death? I mean, I don't know how it looked there, but... Right. Poverty can lead to death, right? What is most important? Nobility of soul, eh? Mm -hmm. For a beggary man is not chased out of human society with a stick. He is swept out with a broom. So as to make it as humiliating as possible. And quite right, too. For as much in beggary, uh, I am ready to be the first to humiliate myself. Hence the pothouse. Honored sir, a month ago, Mr. Lebisatikanov gave my wife a beating. And my wife is a very different matter from me, do you understand? Nope. 
actually. Hmm. Wonder if it will. What about? Can I do this? Tavern consisting of a building with a bar and a, and public rooms, often provided light meals. Ah, public rooms. It's rare these days. Where the fuck can I go and find public rooms, pot houses? I'm assuming public rooms is that you can, right? You go in, you order your stuff, and then you go into a room by yourself, or like you and your company goes into a room. Honored, sir. All right, there we go. Mm. Gave my wife a beating. Mm. That, does he mean that? Right, what does he mean by a beating? Someone beat up his wife? Allow me to ask you another question out of simple curiosity. Have you ever spent a night on a... Hey, Barge, on the Neva. No, I have not happened to, answered Raskolnikov. What do you mean? Well, I've just come from one, and it's the fifth night I've slept so. He filled his glass, emptied it, and paused. Bits of hay were, in fact, clinging to his clothes and sticking to his hair. It seemed quite probable that he had not undressed or washed for the last five days. His hands, particular, his hands particularly were filthy. They were fat and red with black nails. His conversation seemed to excite a general, though languid, interest. The boys at the counter fell to sniggering. The innkeeper came down from the upper room, apparently on purpose to listen to the uh, to the funny fellow, and sat down a little distance, yawning lazily but with dignity. How do you yawn with dignity like this? <laughs> That is an interesting phenomenon. Contagious yawning. Contagious yawning is yes, indeed. Evidently, Marmaladov was familiar was a familiar figure here, and he had most likely acquired his weakness for high flown speeches from the habit of frequently entering into conversation with strangers of all sorts in the tavern. This habit develops into a necessity in some drunkards, and especially in those who are looked after sharply and kept in order at home. Mm. Hence, in the company of other drinkers, they try to justify themselves and even possibly obtain Consideration. Yeah, and that's uh I think that's a good stopping out off point. So we just just in case I'll just do a bookmark. Just in case we get lost, there's a bookmark right there. Bookmark right there. Vim is great. All right, so it's interesting so far. I enjoy, I enjoy the writing style. It flows. 
There's a flow, there's an ebb and flow to the writing style. Right? There's times where stuff doesn't matter, right? Like the stuff with the one button. He had a button, that, that doesn't matter for the story at all. So you can just flow on by it, and then, yeah, ebb and flow. Then we have interesting conversation. It's not hyped up all the time. Moving slowly, I like it. I like it so far. We're 600 lines down. 2%. All right, so thanks for hanging out today. Uh, and yeah, see you next time. Cheers.